Sehr geehrte Zuschauerinnen. Good evening, dear viewers of Klagemauer TV. Right after having put together the reference framework for the solution to the crisis in the Ukraine in Geneva on April 17, 2014, the U.S. is expecting first results from Russia, that is, to impact East Ukraine and render their contribution to the de-escalation. Now, we go back several weeks in our reporting and ask the question how legitimate such demands are. Here we need to understand why the East Ukrainians fight back to the utmost and don't simply want to give back the occupied buildings. After the people of the southeast of Ukraine had begun to go out on the streets with peaceful demonstrations and marches weeks ago to support the demands for democratic rights and liberties for the Russian-speaking areas, the Ukrainian media, as well as the politicians, entitled them as separatists which are allegedly conducted by Russian secret services. At the same time, some Ukrainian politicians and delegates of the Supreme Rada threatened the Russian-speaking people of Ukraine repeatedly in their speeches with vengeance and death. In a wiretap telephone call between the presidential candidate Julia Tymoshenko and the former subsidiary chief of the Ukrainian Security Council, Nestor Shufrich, cynical statements like, these Russians must be killed if necessary with nuclear weapons were made. The delegate of the Swoboda party, Irina Ferian, for example, has said in the boardroom of the Supreme Rada, I quote, in Ukraine, either tourists, hard-boiled curls or aggressors speak Russian. We have 14% Ukrainians who have said Russian to be their native language, that means the language of the occupants. This testifies to the horrible mutation in their minds. That is 5 million degenerate Ukrainians. And I quote again, it is a duty to reverse these people on the legislative level by the state as a compulsory apparatus. I would proceed with all severity. I would shoot them down. These and similar statement, statements cause further waves of protests among the Ukrainians in the Russian-speaking areas. The number of demonstrators going out in the streets have increased continuously. People have lost the hope in protection by the state authority and the Ukrainian government. Now in the last days, there were mass arrests of demonstrators. The family members often don't get even to know on demand where the prisoners are staying. The people themselves therefore feel obliged to use firearms to protect themselves against the use of violence. It was deliberately concealed by the Western media that such things had been taking place prior to the occupation of the administration buildings and that those of different opinion are not treated very nicely we already showed in some of our other media commentaries. There are some examples that can be given about the use of force. One example is against the presidential candidate Oleg Zarev and the other against the governor of Donetsk, Pavel Gubarev. Zarev, for example, was beaten up after a television appearance on the 14th of April and had to be medically treated in hospital. He had frequently criticized the illegitimate government in Kiev before. Pavel Gubarev, a governor elected by the people, organized demonstrations in Donetsk and was imprisoned on the same day when he called for a referendum similar as in the Crimea. Now he is in a coma due to interrogation. Dear ladies and gentlemen, now that the violence against the population in eastern Ukraine is obviously increasingly coming from the government of Kiev and the US, which is backing them, the East Ukrainians now demand not only diplomatic statements of intent, but also tangible actions and evidence, in particular by the government of Kiev especially that they fulfill their part on the Geneva Agreement, namely the disarmament of all illegal armed groups, including the so-called right sector, a part of the illegitimate government of Kiev. 
We will vacate the buildings which were occupied illegally. If those in Kiev are vacated, this is the condition of Eastern Ukraine. At this point, we say goodbye to you with this report concerning the unrests in Ukraine. Keep these correlations in mind and carefully watch what is going to happen now. We'll give our best to get further information to you directly from Ukraine in the days to come. Have a wonderful evening.